Now let's talk about some adjectives. Adjectives are your describing words, right? They describe um, noun or pronoun. And the adjectives come in three flavors. Uh, they are called the three different degrees of adjectives. Uh, they are the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. The positive is your basic adjective as it is. Something is big, good, or bad. Um, if you have two things and you're trying to compare them, we use the comparative degree. And we say one is bigger, better, or worse than the other. So this is only for two things and that's what you need to remember if you are talking about three or more objects then you need to use the superlative form and say that one of them is the biggest the best or the worst and one thing to note is that um, some most of them are just uh, regular they change regularly with a simple rule of adding er or est at the end but there are a few like the good and the bad that are considered irregular because the entire word changes to something else like bad becomes worse and worse not badder and baddest right so sometimes we add er at the end of the word and make it longer but sometimes we add more in front of the word and so here's the you know rough general rule you should add er or est for one or two syllables and the logic there is that if you add an er or est you're adding another syllable to the word and if you have a short word and you add a syllable it doesn't really make it difficult to say it's not a problem so we prefer to have that um, so cool becomes cooler coolest happy becomes happier happiest right but you should use more and most if you have three or more syllables in your word, okay? If you have a word like beautiful, that's three syllables, and if you added another syllable, you have beautifuler, beautiful list, that would be too long. Four syllables, five syllables, these words become too long and uncomfortable to say, so it's not preferred to do that, and that's why we would say more beautiful and most beautiful instead. More and most, however, need to be used if you have an adverb ending in ly, even if it's a short word. So commonly is only two syllables, but we are not going to say commonlyer or commonlyest. We're going to say more commonly. Okay. Whereas if you had the word friendly, you do say friendlier or friendliest because friendly is not an adverb. It's actually an adverb, a friendly person friendlier person, friendliest person. That's an adjective. Remember to use the comparative to compare two things. It's a very simple rule, but you get you lose track in a long sentence. And so even on the SAT, these questions appear quite often. Um, look at the sentence. Of the two sisters, Jenny is the prettiest, which is incorrect because there are only two Jenny is not the prettiest she's the prettier right of the two and it's very easy looking at it this way but if that sentence were you know five lines long you would lose track and you would forget about that particular rule and that's the problem next sentence says the customers were given free samples to determine which was the best tasting drink between Coke and Pepsi so you need to remind yourself that we're talking about two things, Coke and Pepsi. And there are only two drinks uh, in question here. So it is not the best one that we're tr trying to find. We want to find the better one of the two. And of course, we should use the superlative to compare three or more things. Of the four sisters, Jenny is the prettier would be incorrect, right? We don't want prettier because it's more than two. There's There are four, so we need to say prettiest. Next sentence, of all the soft drink choices available to consumers, they have a hard time deciding which is better. Of course, if we have all the soft drink choices out there, we could be talking about hundreds of them. And so it is not better. We need to say which is best out of all of them. 